Let's try that again. I'm really weak to corrosion, it seems. Die plus. Um. We're just going to level up block a few times. Just get extra blocks. Once I leave this floor, now I have my prayer powers. Now I get heals. I love being able to like one shot death based enemies because I have fire. Plus two to all healing, okay. Armor on that. 15 versus 15. Okay, that's cool. On step, deal lightning damage. Oh, that's cool. I now just do lightning damage anyway, regardless of if I'm hitting shit. Uh, mysterious uh, icon into a mysterious psychic order and a magic staff abandoned by a death mage. Icon sacred to storm priests. Neither of these are good for me. Let's go, just go to the bottom one then. But yeah, no, this game's also 10 bucks, and the demo is the full game, and progress transfers over. So if you get wins and stuff, and you start moving through the cycles, because the game gets harder as you get wins, um, and you unlock different classes, I would just go and uh, try the demo, because it's just an older build of the full game. And there's obviously more content in the full game. But just go try the demo. If you like the demo for this, you'll you'll like the full game. And I put like like 30 hours into the various demo versions and builds of this game before it released onto Steam. Actually, I'm level up tenacity, level up block, and then I'm once I get like 15 into here, um, we're going to. Start going into the life tree. The full combat log? I mean, there's a lot of things happening. You know, you, you cut the Igra Guard for 82, you shock the Igra Guard for 31, you burn the Mud Golem for 31, you break the Igra Guard, and that, the little ast, these little stars, these are all the turns, the turn cycles, so cycle a turn, that's all this. Cut, shock, burn, break, plump, pummel, shock, burn, cut, <laughs> kill, vanquish, move on. And that's like nothing compared to later on. Like, I've had to scroll them up. So, bang. Blocks, shock, 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 burn, burn, break. They shrugged off my attack. Shock, kill, killed an Igra guard. This is all one turn. Let's grab Vine Kinesis. Uh, it depends on if you're doing a rapid attack build or not. We're doing a rapid attack build where I want to just be smacking things as many times per turn as possible. You can do builds that are primarily based on just standing still and doing passive damage to things without even attacking. Ram, bam, fuck you, ma'am. Yep, or just, like, summon dudes into existence to do everything for you. Where you just have 200 servants and them dying makes you do damage, or you killing your own servants makes you do lots of damage, so you kill as many of your own servants as possible so that you do damage to enemies passively without even directly attacking them. Speaking of, Deathrake's kind of scary. Uh... 
Island. Death Drake is down to the south, so I'm just gonna walk down to it. Just hoping I would do more damage to it. Oh, I need the fire on it. There we go. Now that I'm actually just hitting it, lots of damage. And it's doing almost nothing to me because I don't have any minions. If I had minions, then this guy's damage would be amplified because he does like an AoE splatter um, death damage thing, basically, and it applies doom. So if it's hitting my allies, then it, it basically just makes a big old cloud of death. But because we're by ourselves, it's actually quite easy. Uh... Oh. Well, time to swap my weapon out finally. <laughs> And uh, undealing fire damage deal 50% is astral, and we get fancy pants, quite literally. Uh, undealing more than 50 physical damage applied doom? Yes, I just got way stronger. <laughs> Let's go. And also, this is just a small thing, but the character class, whether or not you get a masculine or a feminine character model, is random, and it swaps. So every single character type has both a masculine and a feminine variants, which is kind of neat. The enemies are preset, yeah. They're not dynamic. They're pretty locked. You know what you're up against when you see them. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. So now if I look at the combat log, look at how much longer this is for one thing, but I've got all of these blast damages. These are all my astral damage that my pants are doing to people <laughs> alongside of my axe. My axe and pants are uh, very fancy and they're doing extra damage. Trust me, some of the enemies you don't want to know about. <laughs> because they are terrifying. This game has kind of a, a a pretty heavy kind of cosmic horror vibe to it. Once you get further in, like these guys are bugbears, right? So they're pretty simple, but when you get to the, uh, the later areas, it gets pretty cosmic horror-y. It's like a creature of many mouths devours you. It's like, oh my. Also, it's G to pop up the combat log and then es escape to get back out of it. Actually going to go with bigger. Who didn't know Fancy Pants Adventures had a sequel? Uh, it's more of a spiritual successor, really. On to the next boss tower. This is where we keep dying, so let's see how we do. Not bad so far, if I do say so myself. I... You need death. In your face. Now. Good. Stack passives! Let's go. Let's see how these do. Fire damage is hurting him pretty ha effectively. That's good. I need a better shield. But I haven't even picked up another shield yet. But yeah, no, this game is like weirdly hypnotic and can cost you a lot of a lot of your free time if you're not careful. But if that's what you're looking for in a game, this is a very fun one. One of my few regrets about this game is that the dev gave me key for it, so I didn't pay for it, so my review on Steam doesn't count towards the overall score. There we go. 
It's always nice when they're in a single file line. I mean, that's the case for any roguelike. Classic roguelike strats, hide in a doorway. Unless you're playing Shattered Pixel Dungeon, in which case then you lose all of your dodge if you're in a doorway and enemies gain dodge if they're in a doorway. I think that's how that game works. It's been a minute. I really wish I had that bone shield from before. Something I do wish that this game would get in the future is it would be really cool if it had like a, some sort of mechanic where if you, it, like certain enemies have like the ability to like have a more powerful variant of themselves. Like, you know, like chat, like Ozone was just mentioning that the enemies aren't dynamically generated. It's like Caves of, Caves of Cud's enemies aren't dynamically generated, but every now and again, you'll get one that is. Like a generated version, like a, a dynamically powered up version. And that would be really cool to see. I don't actually think I'm even going to see the boss in this. This is the boss, this guy. Just trying to get into an area with a little bit more cover. The glory rises. Ding dong, the boss is dead. Do I get a shield? Do I get a shield? Do I get a shield? God dang it, no shield. It's dead. Attack deal death damage to all adjacent units. I think I kind of want to keep my aggro axe, though. Let's do more damage. Uh, what do you think, True Freak? Keep the axe or swap to the Blight Molepath? I think I'm better off with this. Played too much Shattered Pixel Dungeon? Yeah. Shattered Pixel Dungeon. Pixel Dungeon's a good game. Yeah, since I'm using the shield, stick the stick. Swap off of the the two-handed X. Not bad. Now that that like black damage stuff around me is death damage. Although I feel like I just lost a bunch of damage, which kind of sucks. Maybe swap off shield is in order. Just two-hand the axe. I could act actually, there's another martial skill that could make two-handing more powerful. We could just build around the axe. Use that as like the build item. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna build around the axe. Because this is not as effective. Like I'm doing way less damage now. I'm going to wield a main hand, put in bag. And we're going to go for this guy, but that costs six to learn, so. I actually really hope that this game can get, like, yeah, there we go. That's, like, way more damage. I really hope that this game can get a foam port at some point. Hmm. Can you grow normal grass on top of? Can you grow normal? Can you grow normal grass on top of mug that you get to make some on something on top of mug mud? Oh, mud that you get to make on something. Uh, yeah, grass will eventually grow. Normal grass will also eventually grow, but it needs to see the sun. Bone crafted arm garden spore beasts dwell here. This shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, removing the shield made this way better. I just need six points. Oh, 
before my next level up, and then when I level up, we will be in a strong spot. Yeah, Dwarf Fortress. So I'm, I'm very used to just, like, no context Dwarf Fortress questions in the chat. So... I really need, would like some extra bleed damage because bleed damage is just so freaking good. But yeah, grass will eventually grow. So will underground stuff. Uh, let's go here. Starting to find more medium high tier enemies these guys just summon a bunch of these snakes these writhing monks they summon the astropedes which are a terrifying concept and they do a non-trivial amount of damage so we gotta kill them quickly these do psychic damage but they also fortunately die really quickly I do not like this. Let's, see, let's level up Vigor so we get the heal. You're thinking about covering up a channeled out area. So if you channel out an area, dump water in there so that there's mud in it, and build flooring over top of it, it still counts as outside. So you should be able to he uh, use it still. There we go. Oh. Okay, that was terrifying. We are weak as hell to psychic. Let's go a dull yellow cap of a death priest and a heavy helm of pure emerald. I'm going to level up my vigor again. Back up. Fortunately, we're about to level up. Let's just kill that thing that's next to me. Sketch. Need to level up tenacity some more, I think. Could also go with the um, deal fire damage and heal yourself ability. Maybe that. Maybe that'll do her. Apply scorch to target on dealing fire damage. Heal yourself. Let's just do that. Let's just give myself a passive heal. Yeah, that's that's a much safer way of doing things. Instead of pumping so many points into tenacity. That seems way smarter to just go that route. Yeah, I don't know what exact what design you're going for exactly, but um, flooring over top of stuff still counts as. Ooh, I'm receiving an effect. That's interesting. Fifteen armor, twenty armor. Let's grab you. Man, I want those pants. Unstep removes Scorch and Corrosion, and it gives me a good resistance poison. But then I lose this extra 50% da- like, again, as damage- as astral damage stuff. I lose this astral damage, which is huge. Undealing fire damage, deal 75 astral damage to two adjacent enemies. I still keep some of it, though. But man, not having to deal with Scorch or Corrosion is awesome. Corrosion hurts. You know what? Yeah, we're going to swap to those pants. 
now we're gonna jump into the red tower. Wish me luck, Jack. Can I get a round of beers? We have all of our heals up, so. Yeah, this game really makes you feel like a raid boss by the end of, by like medium point of the, of the game. <laughs> Shit's so satisfying. <laughs> and thank you very much, everybody, for who's hanging around late. You know, we've been live for ten and a half hours. We have a long stream today. Recent streams we've capped out at like, you know. about 10 hours pretty consistently, so. Thank you for the ludicrous amount of kindness today, chat. <laughs> Greetings from Australia. Well, hello from Canada. Like, wake up a clock over there. Thanks for the dollar fifty audio. Now that I've got that, martial element per skill on step initial attack. If two-handing weapon, perform a number of extra attacks. So I'm going to gain a number of extra attacks now but also only if I'm two-handing a weapon. Uh, but I want to save a little bit more for this. So I need 30 points between life and martial. So I need 10 more points in life in order to... So I think I already... I'm pretty sure I already have champion. Just double check that I already have champion. Yes, I already have champion, so... But no, today's been my best day of the month already. That's before Twitch ads in the ad revenue pay adjustment. It's usually money from ads is a few days behind. Just keep hitting you to go through this way. So now for reference, this is the combat log for a single turn. So start here, all the way down to here. That's all for one turn. It's break, burn, blast, heal, uh, scorch, bleed, pummel, apply and tangle, pummel, shock, burn, blast, heal. <laughs> pummel, shock, burn, blast, heal. My favorite combo. The tol the the tolpalak moans a sharp smell of ice. Weak as hell to fire. Oh yeah, we do fire damage. Also, apparently this game plays pretty damn well on a Steam Deck. Well, Scorchner. That's all one turn. So I'm going to press one button. And I'm going to hold my hands up so you guys can see how long this turn is. Watch this. One turn. Now we just gotta do cleanup.
All right, um, well, not swapping into that. So we are going to grab three points for piercing vines. And now Sminthite is available. On being attacked, perform an extra attack against an enemy and heal 10. So on being attacked, perform an extra attack against an enemy, heal for 10. Also, I get 200 damage and an extra 100 hit damage. And an achievement. <laughs> so we just got a lot stronger. Like a lot, 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 lot stronger. Let's see how this goes. Also, ads are about to hit, so dodge. These guys are normally pretty strong, too. <laughs> wow! Damage combos, damage combos. Go, go, go! That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. I'm pretty sure that the prestige classes, the, that thing that I just unlocked, were something that weren't in the demo, though. I actually, actually, I need to look at the demo again and see if the prestige classes are in the demo. So I'm pretty sure the prestige classes are not a thing in the older build. Now I get a good sh shield, now that I don't use it. Mm, mm, mm. Moving towards the end of the first zone. I can probably just hold down tab. Yep. Oh, just a list? Okay, so they are in the demo then. Yeah, no, this is also just kind of like, uh, very much a FOSS software game because, like, it, you know, it runs in uh, Godot. Uh, the the engine is Godot. The, um, visuals and aesthetic were all made in GIMP. And I, I guess the, the, the music was made in 8-Bit Dragon, which is just a very simple DAW, but... With a firmament. Am I even doing any death damage? I don't think I am. I'm also very lacking in armor. <laughs> Did you play pre release? I can't remember. Great sort of incredible force. I can't remember if, like, I conned you into playing the itch builds or not. You just bought it on day one because it looked fun? Okay, then... If... if hmm. Because I, I can't remember if it's in the demo or not. There we go. I know the first build I played, the game ended at the end of the first area. Okay, then you played the demo then. You probably played it the week before launch. So then, yeah, it must they must be in the demo. Ooh, that was a lot of damage that came out of nowhere. Figure out how, what, where it did so much damage to me. This fucker's hurt. Pine Cleaver. Tax an area of two handing, steel hammer, steel blunt damage to the target. Man, no, I'm keeping axe. <laughs> and then you immediately bought it. Yeah. You need to go to bed. Stone, you have a good night. And thank you very much, everybody who's still hanging out. I know the crowd's getting a little quiet. It is kind of late. But uh, thank you so much to everybody who's hung out. Oh, ice, so shining annihilation. Attacks with ice damage. A duelist's knife. Let's go get him. We're about to get to endgame, so we'll see how this goes. 
I feel like I should start putting some points into dexterity. Because I'm definitely really fucking strong. So I'm going to start putting some points into dex. Let's get more dodge. I've been too shot by these guys before at this point. The, the little, These little yellow mages, these guys? I've been too shot by these yellow priests. I think I should also put more points into my fire heal. That is wild. Pax Mac, hello. Welcome back. It's been a long one. You have a good one, Ozoned. Enjoy the demo. Oh boy. It's okay, their little minions fall over real quick. You pierce the dancing flesh. That is such a name. These guys, dancing flesh, and then these guys, the death knights, who summon, of course, dancing flesh. I think that's what happens when necks get resurrected in Dwarfort. Oh, I know, I, I have it on. This thing? thing? Not bad. Confident I can just hold tab. Yeah, Elfsire actually DM'd that one to me. Finally, some freaking armor. I'm being attacked, deal death and ice damage to the attacker. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Which one's better? Dealing more than fist, fist repulsion per stack, dealing deal one psychic attack to the attacker on being attacked. One psychic damage to the attacker on being attacked. But that gives 10 armor versus... 80. I think I've already kind of got a lot of armor, though. Not enough block, but... I had a D&D &D who was a gourmet chef who had the challenge of cooking a troll steak for a cyclops before he came back to life. Before the cyclops came back to life or the troll came back to life? Trolls in D&D &D come back to life? We're in the first boss area. See how strong we are. These things hurt pretty bad sometimes, so I gotta be kind of careful with them. I love how the ones that are not the one in front of me die faster than the one in front of me. It's kind of funny. Up to me. There you go. Trolls regen? Ew. I didn't know that. I haven't played DD in a uh, billion years, as far as I'm concerned. For some reason, the design of these guys reminds me of skeleton warriors. The Gangra dancers. The 
These guys are terrifying. A twitching horror spawned by for war by the Tethic Mage. Attacks with Priest uh, has a 30% chance to recover from harmful effects on game turn. And they damage you with Cruel Feast. Gibbous Mouths. Fortunately, with this build right now, they die pretty quickly. So. I'm going to go in here and heal more. They launch indeed, yes. Well, that's mildly terrifying. I don't like this at all, actually. Let's hit the one up in the top right and see if I can back up to where I was. guy next to me. Move forward. Go that way. Take this guy out. Move that way. Take that guy out. Back. Alright, got him. The horror golem apprehends you, little pilgrim. The end is near. Well, got to back up. <laughs> no, I'm stuck, so I guess we stand here. I've managed to get bleed him on him already without even hitting him, so there's that. This is all one turn. So I'm going to start hitting. Okay, turn ends. Move up. Stop hitting me! Okay. Heal myself. Which one does more damage? Move back. Wait a turn. Oh, trust me, this game gets pretty butchy clen clenchy when you stop being super invincible. Fuck me. I should have moved back earlier. I don't know where the flesh golem went. See if we can kill him. Ah! Well then. When I actually hit him, he died real fast. Level up vigor. Let's go. Oh no, he didn't. He just moved. He's still dying real fast. It's just a matter of actually hitting him. Okay, we're good. Okay, um... that might not be a bad swap. Swapping to the Mind Saver over the Agra Axe. When dealing more than 50 blood or physical damage. Remove bleed from yourself when dealing damage to yourself. Yeah, that's not useful to me. Thinking Mind Saber. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm also going to swap for these. And I'm going to grab more armor. Let's go. So now we go into the stars. I don't really worry about saying spoilers personally because I don't think this game's got any spoilers in it. Okay, we're going to go this direction. Wish us luck, chat. This is the real game. So far, so good. Well, we're doing non-trivial amounts of damage. Things are dying decently quickly, so currently I think we're okay. It's the green demons that tend to like just three-shot me, so we'll see. We'll, we'll see. We, we'll see how much further we make it. Play. I think swapping the whip to do psychic damage was a good idea. And um, I just do more damage in general because my pants are also psychic based and the armor I've been wearing for ages is also psychic, so. I'm just gonna keep leveling up Vigor. And we're just going to keep increasing our armor and our block. I just want armor and block to go up. Because I don't actually have much. <laughs> they look like gingerbread men get the kind of do, don't they? You know what this game kind of has to it? I finally figured out a way to describe this game's end game aesthetic. It's like a hunted NES cartridge, you know? Kind of like how, um... Uh, what, what, what do you call it? Earthbound, like, has enemies towards the end of it that are just, like, so otherworldly, like, it's creepy. This game kind of has that feeling to it in the endgame area. Like, just a, if you look at how the sprites change, the deeper you get, like, shit just gets weird at a point, and I kind of love it. I didn't see what that was. What was that? On stand still, if enemies live, he'll find a hundred. Oh my god, that would be so good. On a completely different build. Um, on this build, it's terrible. These guys are terrifying, and I fucking hate them. These guys, we can eviscerate the white demons. We'll get a green skull capped, coveted by sages. Well, I mean, I'm not eviscerating them. They have lots of health, but we are killing them, so that's good. All right, I'm going to do this again. When I start the next turn, so I press one button, right? Okay, that wasn't so long. I had one really long turn in the middle there because I guess I kept getting block procs. Big turn of events, Paxmac. I like fighting these white demons. I'm scared about the poison demons, the green ones. And good job, Claiborne, on the win. How have your streams been recently? I saw you with like 20 viewers this morning. You're doing well. You're getting up there in the world. With the new TLP release today, TLP? I uh, was wondering, have I ever played EverQuest? No. I don't know what TLP is either. What's TLP? I'm not an MMO guy. Um, I've played MMOs in the past, but um, I only played MMOs because my friends played MMOs and wouldn't play other games with me. So I played MMOs so I had friends. Not because I wanted to. Voices calling and strange thoughts. 
You dimly perceive a vast bulk moving between the stars. Let's go this way. But yeah, I, I don't like MMOs. I've there there are certain types of MMO, MMOs. A specific example would be like kind of the Ultima online level of sandbox that I don't mind. Um, but I I the, the kind of like yo grind up get gear do raids start a sort of MMOs with lots of other people is just never really appealed to me. Like I I played. And you know, it's funny, when I say the list of MMOs that I've played in the past, people are always like, well, that's your problem. I don't care, they're all the same to me. Uh, I've played Runes of Magic, I've played RuneScape, I've played Rift, I've played, I've never actually played World of Warcraft. Um, I played Aeon, I played Terra Online, and I hated every single one of them. <laughs> like I, they were, Terra Online had fun combat, but man, at least for the time it had fun combat I also played um, a weird almost fantasy star s like instance based MMO called Ace Online for a little bit but I played it because it was free to play and free so you know I know it's I say free to play and free, but like free to play and like not too hard to progress. So I played a bit of that. It was kind of like Star Fox if it was an MMO. That was weird. Yeah, no, totally. I mean, like if if you played a, like I even if if I every now and again I'll see some person on the bus just playing RuneScape on their phone and go, man, like what if? But and then I never do it. I kind of want apply scorch to adjacent enemies, dealing fire damage and astral and lightning. I think I should just grab Immolation. Because that just gives me extra fire damage. You pick up a toothed sword, excuse me. On kill, hill 50, deal blood damage to closest enemy equal to your main hit. Man. Hmm. Oh, no, like, I, I'm jealous of people that can get into MMOs, Paul. Like, kind of honestly jealous. All right, well. Yeah, these guys, we're, we're sticking to Psychic because so many things here are weak to Psychic. We're sticking to this. Let's go. God, I hate this. Please don't needs to give me. It's just lightning damage, we're okay. Okay, I'm really strong in this level right now. Which is kind of wild. I'm not used to being even remotely strong when I get to this area. I'm used to just, like, grinding away at it. And these purple guys with, like, the weird four legs, they teleport away. Fortunately, I can keep hitting them with my with my ranged attack there. <sighs> I would have died if I didn't just heal. Use Vigor, heal up. Man, I am so happy I just healed. I almost died. <laughs> Whew. So this spell just saved my life. Gotta be sneaky. Divine Axe, eh? 
If two-handing weapon, plus 100 dodge, plus 200 armor. That's a lot of armor. Yeah, I, th I think we're going to swap over to the Divine Axe. Well... Here goes nothing. Final level, folks. I hate how tanky everything's feeling. Fortunately, I'm taking no damage. Okay, specifically, I hate how tanky those guys feel. <laughs> Everything else feels like is like it's just falling apart. It's just these guys, the arbiters that are stupidly tanky to me right now. Everything else is just getting insta gibbed basically. Leveling up strength. I'm not too concerned about this. They're doing damage to me, but I'm just out healing it. Easy peasy. Just keep it slow. Dodge things that are doing damage to you. Wrecking face. Wrecking something. We could just die, though, so, like... Enjoy the wrecking while it lasts. Let's grab some extra armor and some extra block. I'm gonna keep hitting the tanky guy. He definitely fell over faster than the other one. I don't know what was up with the other one, but... All right. You know what's funny is Ulfsire wanted to sell this game for like half the price initially. I, I sent him a DM and was like, how much are you planning on selling a game for? He goes, I don't know, between like five and eight dollars. Like, sell it for 10. This game, getting this game for three dollars would be a robbery. <laughs> guys. Well, hopefully I doubled his profits and didn't like quarter his copy sold, right? All right. That's what summer sales for. Yeah, true. I'm curious to see how deep a sale he's going to do. Because this game, when it's like 15, 20% off, and it's like six bucks. All right, boss. King of many colors. I don't like where I'm standing. This is bad. All right, let's go for boss. Let's move forward. Let's level up Vigor for the heal. Start hitting him. I do have a two, I do have a pretty hefty heal too for when I need it. 
And I'm healing, like, per attack as well, so. We're pretty tanky. Twitch wants me to run ads in the next 30 seconds, so I'm snoozing them for five minutes. I think we got this, chat. Level up vigor for the heal. Level up strength. Come full circle this morning when your building's fire alarms are going off. You were thinking it was here, and now the fire alarm is going off and you're streaming. It wasn't back here. Uh, always check your fire alarms, even if you think it's on a Twitch stream. <sighs> we done did it, chat. We done did it. Screenshotting this, putting it on Discord. <sighs> you know, chat, I didn't say to do this at the beginning of the run because that would have been redundant. But this run is going to go up on YouTube because it was a win. So I want you guys to say bye, YouTube. And GG. The stream's pretty fire. Thanks, Krista. Oh. All right. Not bad.